Okay, folks. Captain Buster, Bubba Round Tree Outdoors. Just got down at the stand a while ago. I've been thinking of another teachable moment I can give y'all. And this one that I got, it doesn't relate to hunting. It just related to doctors and uh, nurses and teachers. Sometimes they won't tell you the whole truth. They'll tell you a little white lie. But anyway, I was out at work at DuPont, been probably 40 years ago now, 50 years ago. But uh, I had a hemorrhoid to pop up. Them things hurt. And uh, so I, we had a doctor on site, so I walked up there to, to see the doctor. And I told him I said, what it was going on. He said, all right, bend over and spread your cheeks. So I did. He said, ah, nothing to it. He says, all you have to do is I'll call a certain doctor. I won't call his name. And he says, I'll send you up there. And he says, all he's going to do is nick it. And you, you'll be just fine. It won't take an hour. I said, okay. So I walked in there. I told my boss man what was going on. I said, I'll be back in about an hour, hour and a half. I'm going to run. I was just going to get that thing nicked. And he sort of laughed. He says, well, take the rest of the day off. I said, no. All he's going to do is nick it. I said, I'll be back in about, about an hour. He said, no. He said, go ahead and take the rest of the day off. It sort of irritated me. I says, look. I says, in an hour and a half, I'll be back here. He says, well, he said, let me put it like this. He said, if you feel like it, come on back to work. He said, if you don't feel like it, stay home. I said, I can handle that. So I drove old J10 Jeep pickup truck back then with four in the floor. So I drove up to the, this old doctor. This old doctor, he, uh, he was a doctor in the Second World War. And uh, he was one of them, if he said, hey, this here might sting a little bit. And he was fixing to cut your arm slap off, you know. And uh, So anyway, I thought I had pretty good pain tolerance. So anyway, I got there, went in there, and checked it. He says, yeah, he said, I'm going to have to nick that thing. He said, get up on the table there. So I got up on the table. And the first inkling I had that, that this was going to be bad, when that old doctor says, I'm going to give you a shot to kill the pain, he says, now it might sting a little bit when I give it to you. And when he said it might sting, I'm thinking, this might be like cutting my arm off. And about that time, he popped that needle in my rear end hole people let me tell you something if I had been licking my lips at that time I'd have bit my tongue slap off and swallowed it never had pain like that in all my life it was just terrible and so he nicked it then and that nick I didn't even hardly feel but that shot to kill the pain like to kill me so anyway I got up my legs was wobbly and all he said all right you can go on home now all right, remember I said a J-10 pickup truck had sort of stiff springs and all. And I know right off I didn't want to sit on that end that was hurting so bad. So I got in that truck and started out holding myself up with my right hand. Wouldn't let my butt touch that seat. And I shut the door. Then I put my left hand down and held my butt up off that seat. And I drove about six miles to get home. And by the time I got home, Arm was shaking, it was give slap out. But I held it up. The people I got out of that truck, and let me tell you something, I got one of the best wives in the whole world. Believe it or not, I lay down on my back, and it was still hurting, but it wasn't as bad as the other ones. And she said, Is there anything I can do for you, darling? I said, Well, I said, them school teachers lied to me all the way through school. She said, What are you talking about? I said, they told me all the way through school that my central nervous system was my spinal cord. I said, no, no, no. I said, your central nervous system is your butthole. I said, every nerve in your body is attached to your butthole. I said, even my eyelashes is hurt. I said, everything I got is hurt. I said, so they lied to me all the way through school. So now, before you think I was a wimp, I said, they were, we was talking afterwards and talking about the worst hurt we ever had and a friend of mine he was a air conditioning man hands hard as 
the stock on that rifle. And uh, he was, when I told him the hurtingest thing I had, he said the same thing happened to me. And, you know, he beat his hands up all the time. He had some kind of good pain tolerance. Same thing happened to him, one popped up. He goes to the doctor, the doctor says, all I gotta do is nick it. Oh, that's a dangerous thing, nick it. He got up on the table and he says, when they popped that needle that was supposed to keep him from hurting, when they popped it in his butthole, he said it hurt all the way up in his throat. He thought they had cut his throat. He near about passed out. That's how bad it hurt him. And then another buddy of mine, he was auto mechanic, beat his hands up all the time. Big old sturdy fella, high pain tolerant. One popped up on him. And he went to the emergency room. Same thing. All we got to do is nick it. And got him up on the table, and the table put one of them big rolls of white paper, you know, that they can cool down back to each person. So he got up on there, and the doctor said, Now this might sting. He said, When they pop that needle that's supposed to keep him from hurt in his butthole, he crawled a hundred yards in three seconds. And you say, How in the world could he do that? Well, he was digging. He was unrolling that paper. He wasn't getting no traction. And he had a hundred yards of paper in his arm, and he got through. That's how bad it hurt him. So he had crawled a hundred yards in three seconds, but he hadn't gone nowhere. He was still on that table. So let me tell you, if you ever have one to pop up, and they tell you, they fool you up there and say, we're going to just nick it, and we're going to give you a shot so you won't have no pain. You tell them before they give you that shot so you won't have no pain, tell them to put you asleep. And in fact, tell them to give you a double dose of that put you to sleep stuff. Because if they just give you one, you're going to have nightmares for the rest of your life. Teachable moment from Captain Buster. Hope I help somebody.